2,000 years before the Inca Incas arrived, had you visited the, the area of what is now Peru, you would have found a variety of cultures down uh, Lake Titicaca region. There's a Tiwanaku kingdom um, up here, which is about 11, 12,000 feet up in the Andes. There's some cultures here you may have heard of, Nazca culture, which are famous for the lines that are etched on the desert floor. You can only see from planes and balloons and that kind of thing. The Moche culture, another culture up here. So you have different kingdoms starting to arise um, over time that are all agriculturally based. This is 700 years before the Incas um, were around. This is up in Northern Peru, it's called the Moche culture. And had you visited there and with a drone or a little helicopter and flown around, you would have seen things like this and scattered along the Peruvian coast. And you can kind of see the, the enormity of the scale. These are people down here. You know, you're talking about millions and millions, these are adobe bricks, but millions and millions and millions of bricks, so which could only be done if you had a really hierarchical, you know, stratified society that was, you had people directing things, and engineers and artisans and peasants tilling all the stuff and agricultural canals, you know, they basically made all of these, these dry valleys green by, by using aqueducts and things and, and figuring out how to put water, bring water out there and to spread agriculture. Back in the 80s, they, they made a series of discoveries and uh, one of the most famous, which is likened to uh, King Tut, was the Lord of Sipan. And this is a series of burials um, in, in, this, in the same kind of uh, hydraulic cultures there, but this is a, a burial of obviously a very powerful Lord. And there's the Lord down here with a skeleton and gold, um, you know, gold face mask and all kinds of different kind of bronze and whatnot and ornaments and that kind of thing buried with things that presumably were meant for the afterlife in all these pots, buried with um, guards that had their feet severed so they couldn't run off apparently, uh, various, and um, this was a very lavish ceremony for a very high ranking Lord of this empire back then. And this is what, uh, with all that stuff reassembled, uh, the burial would have looked like. This is what the, the, the Lord of Sipan would have looked like back in the day. And you can imagine, encountering this person as a peasant walking down the street, right? If you're probably not even allowed to, but you know, obviously by now humans had stratified in such a way that it was very clear what their rank was, where they, what position they occupied on the, the pyramid of power. And also more than likely this would have been a godlike figure, you know, theocratic individual. And these are, this is real gold. These are scattered museums. There's a museum down there in, the, in that area called the Sipan Museum, which is great. And these gold masks are there, but uh, pretty, pretty impressive, pretty amazing. And again, it just harkens back to this obvious stratification that occurred once agriculture was discovered. And uh, obviously in Peru, they really took advantage of that to create very complex societies that allowed them to come up with the inventions necessary to be able to establish, you know, uh, populations in areas that previously they had not been able to. People without that technology were not able to live on those dry, bone dry deserts, only in very limited numbers. But now with all their inventions and stratification and, and organization, now suddenly populations were expanding, they were harvesting, uh, cultivating areas that had never been cultivated before. And that was all because of the, um, the complexity of, of civilization. The arrival of uh, uh, armies, professional armies. This is a figure from the Moche culture. This is a, a soldier. He's got a helmet, to protect himself, um, a shield on the arm, and some kind of you know a stone mace to, to to go to war. So now you have different societies, and they're warring against each other, presumably over the lack of resources. Mm -hmm. 